Yo, what's up, guys? It's me, JD. Today, we're going to be looking at unlimited power versus rights for all citizens. So, basically, the two sides, of course, Democrats and Republicans, and what they're kind of offering at the table, and how it can completely be catastrophic either way. So, with all that being said, let's go. Alright. So, to start off, start off with the left, like we always do. In the Democratic side, of course, we have um, open borders. So that basically just means that we will no longer have specific borders where we will keep people away. We'll be more inviting and open to immigrants. And the way that this could backfire on us is by unlimited power. And the way that that works is if the Democratic Party gets into power, they promise that they will let more immigrants come into the U.S. And they will let more immigrants become residents of the U.S. And if that happens, then what we're going to be looking at is more immigrants who will be coming in to the US and they will have the ability to vote. And when that happens, we have like, we're talking about at least 15 to 20 million people who are able to vote and they're not US citizens. So of course they're gonna vote democratically. So that's why we would have unlimited power on one side because they would have more and more, it's like recruiting more and more people to join their army. So that's basically why the Republicans don't want the Democrats to have unlimited power. Now going on to the Republican side, um, what we would have there is fair use for citizens. So every citizen would be treated exactly the same. And that means every crime would be treated exactly the same. So when every law becomes the same, pretty much we can't have a diverse in laws. So someone steals something versus if someone like kills uh, multiple people, they would be treated in the, in the same spectrum. So they'd be taken to the court and they'd be good. They'd, um, they'd have to go through the exact same laws. So that could backfire because people who, who, who commit high crimes would have to go through the same as people who commit low crimes. So all crimes would be treated equally. And of course, if that happens, then we'll see more crimes that will take place and our jails will get flooded because there'll be many people who commit petty crimes to go to jails. So these are basically the two sides that could really go wrong and things could really go bad if they were both to come into power. And I'll give you guys my opinion now. So basically what I think is if, um, I think that this entire unlimited power thing should be kind of minimized. Um, so if, if we have a democratic president, meaning if uh, Joe Biden wins, then I think we shouldn't give them unlimited power. I think we should probably uh, bring it down so then we have only a little bit of people. Um, I think 20 to 30 million is like a lot. So we got to bring it down a little bit. So I think on the democratic side. And if you had a Republican president, I think that the laws should be a bit more um, fairly diverse. Like if you commit a petty crime, maybe not going to jail for 20 years is a good idea. And if you do commit murder, you know, maybe instead of going through a police station trials, maybe, you know, kind of diagnose that right away and give them the thing that they deserve. So that's basically what I think about both. I think they're both a little bit too extreme at this point and that we could really bring it into the middle and that we can make a really good law right in the middle. So that's basically what I believe about both of that. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys like this video, share with all your friends and comment. And follow me on Instagram at jetty.solomon. You guys can DM me there. I will respond to everything. And comment on my posts. Uh, they're basically posts about video about these videos. So you can just go to the comment section there. Talk to me about it. We can talk. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow.